What advice will you give to a person who only has 3 to 12 months to live on? Holy shit, that, that is so crazy. Hey, man. You know what? I... Um, this made me think about my grandma, you know, because yeah. she's she's in this situation. Uh, she has terminal cancer, boys, and uh, you know she's she's doing her best, but she only has a few weeks or a f maximum of one months. or two months. Yeah. Um, and uh, the situation is very harsh. But you know, when he when I see my my grandma, you know, like she, she's older, she got cancer, which is like very unfortunate, but. More shocking, we I have a, a friend of mine that is my age and his brother is uh, like, you know, it's just like three or four years older yeah, than us, know. you know, like, so he's like, uh, what, 37 or something. And he was really good, chat. Imagine this. How crazy is this? Mm. You are good. And all of a sudden, you just start having, feeling your, your leg kind of getting weird in the morning. Then... It goes like to your arm, you know? So then you go to the doctor. Then you do a few exams. And after two weeks of that, the, the doctors tell you, yo, you have literally a brain tumor. You got cancer all over your body. You probably only have like three to six months to live. How the fuck you react to that? I know. I don't even know what to say, to That's be honest. A... I, I will say just do whatever the fuck you want. You yeah, know, but, but but it's so shocking. Maybe you can reach to that point where you don't feel like to do anything because you're sad. You yeah, know? but 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 the thing is, like, you don't even have time to be sad. I know it's a very you know you don't have thing. time to be sad because like the the uh, like for us that's why we waste a lot of time with depression and feeling sad and feeling pity for ourselves because we always feel like we have a long journey to go. You know, we feel like we're gonna go old yeah. and all these things. So we have some times in days in weeks to waste being sad and uh, feeling pity about ourselves so but if you don't have that time yeah even feeling sad it like feeling sad uh, i'm not saying it's a waste of time but a lot of times you know we procrastinate we we prolong that sad and that depression you know uh, and that's also not not good but if a doctor tells you that you're just like holy shit i'm on the clock yeah. So I think uh, you should definitely seek a professional mental health in these scenarios. Would you? I don't know. I, I don't should. I, I don't know what I'll do. Yeah, I know it's a very critical. It situation. is so. It, like, what do you say? Like, and also, I feel like every every person will probably react in different in ways. Different way, yeah. I will definitely fucking waste all my money if I didn't have children, though. Uh, literally, I saw chat. There is this book, um, uh, in this concept that I, I'll I'll tell you something. It, it's called uh, living zero. Uh, it, like the concept of the whole book is like if you did if you live a good life, mm -hmm. you end up your life with zero euros or zero rupees in your bank account. Mm. That's a life well lived. Yeah, you know. You probably will have a house and you'll have these things to leave to your, you know, children. But a uh, uh, life well lived leaves your bank account at zero, you know? I didn't even wait for the death. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not even dead. It's my account is almost zero, boys. <laughs> Alfie is saying, uh, I'm 24 and that's my situation. I'm uh, That's why I'm asking. All doctor's opinions are different. Some say three months, some say one year max. Uh, not to damp the mood. I just wanted to share and get advice uh, because I'm scared and confused. Hmm. Man, now I kind of wanted to bring like the brother of my friend to because he will actually have some practical advice for because he's probably the only person that it relates to 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 him. You know, they, yeah. this is so fucking sad. I mean, I will definitely. I don't even know, man. Is a is a Vin. It is so complicated because no matter, and and I'm just being like the maximum honest that I can be. That it doesn't matter how much how hard I try. I have compassion. I have empathy. But there's no way I can even understand what it is to be in that situation. Mm. You can try to imagine, 
but it's just that it is very yeah. limited also the the way i would react probably is very different the way you will react right mm. so like I, all i can say is like being scared and confused is definitely legit man and yeah. uh, you have all the right to be in feeling that but like i said a few minutes back you just have to understand like if you're on the clock and this is the only thing i can tell you man mm. if i felt like i had limited time feeling sad will probably be a waste of time you know and I'll but how do you not feel sad because <sighs> it is a it is fucking big, sad big hit it is a big hit especially if I, you you're this young right yeah and you do, you don't expect these things and these are definitely unexpected hits yeah and you're not prepared for the, for the for these situations yeah, yeah i would say it, it's just like I, it just has to do whatever the fuck he wants, man. It, it, you know, like, if being sad, it, it makes him feel good, so be it, No, man. no, I, I, but, I definitely feel like maybe in these situations, mm -hmm. some sort of therapy kind of can open your mind. Mm -hmm. like, some, like, in these situations, it's very common to get stuck, you know, and mm. not able to think well, what to do now, you know? Yeah. And I think therapy maybe can work but, in a way... I don't I know, know, man. I, know it, I will probably do, just but... fucking put myself on a plane and travel, or just just whatever is the wildest dreams. No, but uh, these things also comes with a lot of medical situations that you mm. can't travel. Oh, you have yeah, to visit that, doctors that's fucking and all true. that stuff. It Dep depends on the disease, right? But yeah, yeah, you're right. But but imagine this, like. Until to that point, because I, I you know, my I, I saw my grandma, you know, like. Yeah. She got diagnosed like two years ago, and uh, these are very different. Each case is is a case, right? Mm. But there was a slow progression, and then there was like these three last months. There was like a very quick spike, yeah. You know, and now she's she's very bad. Mm. I don't know, man. Anything I'm saying here, uh, take it with a with a grain of salt because I can never imagine what is literally to be in that situation mm. but if i'm saying something that maybe makes you think that it may be a good idea maybe not it, it is totally up to you bin um i can't fly without the uh, oxygen cylinder yeah See, mm. you you were right i i didn't even think about that yeah because i, I was mainly thinking about like uh my, my friend's brother yeah uh Either way, uh, you can still pretty much enjoy life by, by doing things you you like. Yeah, it is. It is the um, one of the. You know what? It is one of the harsh realities we live on, mm. and um, and I think we are also having today like a, 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 a some a slight conversation uh, about these. Like we are always worried about everything. You know about looks, about appearance, about uh, yeah. Uh, that is unfair. The world is unfair. You know, oh, that girl or that guy looks better than me because uh, yeah. You know, like, but you know what is really unfair is this fucking thing, Vin, for example, yeah. or the 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 guy that we saw in India doing the the trash every fucking day, mm. in in while we are here in you know in front with him. a high speed internet in Portugal in, with a with a computer in front of us you know yeah you know compared to those to those th that's this. why like it's it's uh, very important to be grateful mm -hmm. what you have you know because for other person your life is very good. Mm -hmm. it, it was yesterday because i had that run and the guy was, was talking yeah. about don't think about your past self don't think about your future self just be grateful for your present self yeah. and um and most of the times we're not uh vin was saying sorry for dampening the mood no way man like uh, uh, listen literally me and Pediki off stream we have sometimes some uh deep conversations like this yeah. Like something that just happens and uh, it came to my thought or just came to our thought and or a situation and that uh, we love to speak about more uh, m like these things. It, it, it doesn't really matter for us and we want to create a place that, you know, there's place for entertainment and there's place for serious talks and yeah. there is place for, uh, you know, there's place for everything, for there's everything, stuff. you know, except but only fans. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Um, Vino say, yo, trust me, please do a podcast. You're, uh, I'm legit taking notes about what you guys talking about. It's so uplifting. Hugs. Oh, thank you so oh, much. Thank you. 
Uh, but you know we what? are definitely doing it. Yeah. We are already said. I already took the plane and uh, is already flying. And hopefully, you know, you know what? I feel I am feeling extremely grateful right now. Because this moment is making me realize how you have someone, you know, the and how many people are sometimes in your in these situations mm. or other situations, you know? Yeah. And they use your content to make them feel better. And uh, w I always used to say, and I still say, and, uh, but uh, what I'm saying, like when uh, I used to tell you on the phone that the main reason why I used to stream and why I love to stream was mm -hmm. if with my stream I can make someone happier in that day. Like that, that's this specific yeah, yeah, stream. Yeah. It can make that person smile. It can make that person feel better. That's a fucking W. That's like I'm adding something to the world. Yeah, yeah. And um and that always made me happy. Doesn't matter how many viewers I had or whatever. Mm. There is something I was thinking the other day, mm -hmm. uh, since we're talking about this topic, mm -hmm. that no one really prepares you for ends. Everyone talks about beginnings. Beginnings like birth and child get, getting born and all that mm -hmm. stuff. <laughs> no one really prepared me if my parents I'm if, if I'm gonna lose my parents, how to deal with that. Yeah. You know? As a kid, and I think that I would I was thinking that maybe if, if uh, I will ever have kids in future, mm -hmm. I will I'll make... prepare them for that. Like, <laughs> no, you, you should you should because mm -hmm. it's a normal thing, it happens, it's gonna happen yeah. with everyone. And people should know how to deal with it, you know. You can never teach how to deal with the loss of someone. You just, you just if you just it, it's just like your first. It sound it's gonna sound stupid because I'm making a stupid comparison, but nobody can tell you how it is to get heartbroken, how fucked up it is, and it can fuck you in many times mm. until you have your heart broken by someone. Yeah, it's experience. You know, like yeah. it doesn't matter how many times people tell you and mm. they try to describe you what is the feeling. Mm. You can't. You can't yeah. feel like that until that actually happens. Yeah, it's same like the kid, if they get burned, they learn. Exactly. You know, yeah. so I feel like you can talk about, mm. you can experience, but for me, I I was so blessed that I never le dealt with that in my life from mm. like closed ones until now. And I, I consider that I'm old enough because I remember being yeah. in school, being in high school, being in college, and so many people around me in class, they were dealing with the grandparents dying, you know, the uncle yeah. dies or whatever, or the, the father, you know, something fucking happens. And for me, I was like, man, yeah, that's fucked up, but, you know, they, their life just goes on and mm. you keep moving forward. So, but I know how, how, how fortunate mm. I am that I got to get this late in life and only now dealing the I still didn't dealt with loss, but yeah, kind of seeing happening. the the way my 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 grandma yeah, is very rapidly um progressing to the to the end. you can see like the the light keeps getting it's dimmer like, and dimmer yeah. the the end they you know like it, it's just like it is it, is not a good thing and yeah. uh, hopefully. Uh, she's lucky that she has people that, you know, the other day I said that, man, I, I'm going to start crying chat, but uh, I took, I, I gave her food and I took her outside to the set, to the, to the, to the, um, to the balcony so she can get some sun, you know? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I was alone with her and I tell her how much I loved her, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then she barely speaks chat. She can barely, barely speak now. Um, she says a few words, but you know it's very tough for her. She she loses the energy, and she said, "I know." Oh. <laughs> and uh, you know, that was it for me. You know, and I don't want to cry, man. I know, but um, I I wanted to make sure that she knows. It is tough, boys. It is. It is a very helplessness kind of feeling, yeah. you know. When when you have hope, you know, it's it's different. Yeah. You know. But you know, all we can do as a family, and uh, I hope if Vin 
is uh, has that is a a good support a good family that all they can do is uh, make sure until the end is comfortable is taken care is loved and um, and that's it yeah that's it you know and then someone can uh, can rest in peace you know that mm. that's all I that's all I hope for her mm. but that hope also can sometimes work on the flip side if it's like delusional hope which um for example for my grandpa this is way hard even harder for him right like she yeah, they, he... they, they they've been together um they've been together for 60 or 60 40 years yet been together married for 60 40 years that's fucking insane um so my grandpa was always like, oh, we, we're still going to keep doing chemo and chemo and chemo and all these things. But then the doctor had to sit him down, him and me, and and told him very clearly, listen, there is no turning back now. You know, all you, we can do is just while she's here. And that was very harsh to hear, you know, you know, that was uh, yeah. that was very, very harsh to hear. But I feel like it was needed and the doctor said that because if you don't have that realization, you're probably gonna, we will put like my grandma through like situation that she shouldn't be, you know, mm -hmm. will make her uncomfortable and maybe she can get sick or, you know, cold or something and then we even worse. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is a double-edged sword. Yeah, 100%, man. 100% it can be, but... Uh, um, delusional hope, it is really bad, but having hope, I, I, I agree, you know, um, yeah. and life is, li life is all about, you know, you, like, if you only hope and you never do anything, at the end of the day, it's only going to be hope, right? Yeah. So it's a mix and match about, um, both of them. Uh, 